Hi everyone, welcome to Bond Bites, the daily bond market highlights from INR Bonds. I'm Arjun Patsarthi. And in today's market, the news is all about the sharp fall in the Sensex and Nifty. And along with that, the rupee is also showing signs of weakness. The only uh, stable and firm uh, part of this bond market is the government bonds. The GSEC yields have been steady as markets await RBI policy coming up in December. Equities are falling largely on the back of increasing COVID cases in Europe that is prompting shutdown in countries like Austria, which could spread to other countries as well. And uh, in the domestic market, uh, the repeal of the farm loss has affected sentiments to some extent. All this is hurting equity markets. And also the markets is starting to worry, all the markets are starting to worry about Fed rate hikes sooner than expected given that US inflation is rising and rising sharply and doesn't look to be coming down soon. With all this, there are a lot of uh, issues uh, for, uh, for equity markets. The rupee is also showing some signs as uh, when equities fall, the markets worry about portfolio outflows. And in all this, the bond markets have been uh, normally, normally they, they steady, uh, largely because RBI lends support and if RBI believes that all this negative news could impact growth, then they could hold back any kind of policy, neutralizing, neutralizing policy um, next year. But um, having said that, I think it will be largely determined by inflation and what RBI believes in financial stability, financial market stability. And if it warrants tightening of policy, then I think they will start to tighten policy sooner than expected. We'll have to wait and see. In the corporate bond news, uh, the EPFO, the Employee Provident Fund, the largest uh, provident fund in the country, is planning to invest 5% of its corpus in INVITS, infrastructure investment trusts, like Power Grid and uh, India Grid and others that are listed on the exchanges. As we are, INR Bonds has extensive coverage on inbits in terms of education, knowledge, and information on the uh, pros and cons of investing in inbits. And all of you can come to INR Bonds to check out everything about inbits and, um, and take an investment decision accordingly. On the other corporate bond news, uh, Mukut Microfinance, uh, which is a subsidiary of the gold loan company, Mukut. Finance has uh, saw its rating upgraded uh, by India ratings, and this was a positive sign. What about microfinance bonds and MLDs are listed on INR Bonds Quick Invest, the digital retail platform for bonds where retail investors can check bonds, curated bonds, check the, all the information available, complete transparency, check all whatever prices are traded, and take that. Uh, take a quick investment decision for a seamless investment process. Thank you very much for listening in and to access Quick Invest, go to the description below. And if you have not uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so accordingly. Thank you very much.